Speaking of three nil teams, we got a couple of surprising three nil teams here, still in the league. Outside of Chiefs, of course. Sure. That, that's broken, that, I mean, broken I don't you call that surprising, but okay, but continue. The Vikings, the Seahawks, yeah. the Steelers. What in the hell is going on in, the, in this year's 2024 Obviously, NFL season? Like Christian, biggest surprise of the three. And if you don't say the Vikings, you're wrong. Oh, without question, the Vikings. <laughs> look, what, look what they've beaten already. They've beaten the Texans and the Niners. Without their alleged starting quarterback, right? Yeah, supposedly. But hey. Sam, Joe Montana, darn I'm joking. Stop, Stop it. Stop. I, I, Stop I, did, it. I did the trick of you. I did the trick of you. It Stop worked. It. I win. Okay. You know what? From now on, who's who's the Vikings' top defensive player? I forgot um, the name. Um, is it Harrison Smith, would you say, the safety? I was going to say that. Okay. I don't think that's he's Arguably. Him. He's arguably the best player. But, uh, okay, so Harrison Lawrence Taylor Smith. That's what it is. There you go. Okay. I'm not offended. You should be. That's no, proof I'm... you're not a Giants fan. You know that, right? No. I, I, I don't get offended by things like this. What if you say Cowboy fan? George Stolpak. <laughs> <laughs> Always got something for you, though. You it's know what I mean? George Stolpak. <laughs> No, um, the Vikings are easily the most surprising. You know why the Seahawks surprised me? Soft schedule. I mean, now granted, Miami probably should be a bit a little better than right now, but at home. So that's, that's if two plays a game is probably a toss-up game, which they could win still. Um, at home, uh, yeah. they beat New England. That's a win. They beat Denver week one. It's a win. So Seattle beat three zero. Not as surprising. That's what for, you heard me say it. I wasn't sure what to do with them. Steelers culture dictates that culture. Culture and T.J. Watt and Minka Fitzpatrick as a pairing. Right. The, the Vikings, the, like, like I said before, maybe even on this podcast, aren't we like three years removed from the worst 11 and 0 team of all time? <clears throat> Correct. You what know. a really bad and broken Big Ben Roethlisberger. I that mean, I, that is a brain breaking team. Why are you here? I get it, your defensive team, but still, why are you here? <laughs> yeah. Some things aren't there, but, but but look, but they also have quality wins to back up that statement, and they've looked pretty good doing it. Quality. Minnesota. Minnesota uh, beat oh, San Francisco. Beat, well, and, and I know you're going to point to the Niners, but again, as broken teams go, like the the the, I could I could reboot the show Mash with this in, list of injuries they have. Oh, by the way, not, not to disrespect, disrespect the team. Also, I, mean, I missed one more team. Buffalo's three and as well too. But again, that's not a surprise though, given the schedule and all that. Arizona, um, the Jets, Miami, Miami, Miami. Yeah, uh, listen, uh, I'm show me something, you know. No, they deserve to be. They deserve to be. You know, they're 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 a quality team. So we. we never... I I I think yeah, they're mid tier at worst, right? They play the Ravens next week. That's an opportunity to impress me. I'll put it that way. Yes, another must win for the Ravens there too. Also, but yeah, Minnesota's is yeah, you don't know about all that, but we'll get there. Okay, okay, okay. okay. For, for for Baltimore, yeah, they're not. It's not a must win. Can I tell you why? Why the Bagels are already struggling, and you expect the Steelers to win this way over the course of 17 games in 18 weeks. I can't buy that. And the Browns are, well, the Browns are the bleeping Browns. The The division beating itself up is in play, and I think the Ravens still have the opportunity to overcome that, especially after beating the Cowboys and dodging the 0-3 bullet. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um, 